Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back on this Wednesday morning, everyone. Hopefully, you are enjoying the week. Just two days left in 2020 before we change the calendar to 2021. A cold start this morning, though, with those temperatures into the 20s. So, definitely want to bundle up as you're heading out the door. Currently, 26 for us, Wilkesbury, Scranton. Good morning, Hazleton at 27. 20 for us in Mount Pocono, and I have 27 as well in Sealands Grove. Here's a look at Loganton in Clinton County. You can see we have a little bit of a dusting of some snow which came through this morning. Temperatures here on the cold side as well. We are coming in into the mid 20s here. In this portion of central Pennsylvania. David sent this photo in in Montrose last night. You can see a beautiful sky, especially with that sunset with those oranges and yellow. Send us your weather photos to weather at pahomepage.com so we can send or put them on air for you. Here's a look at the radar across. Uh, you can see the Wyoming Valley down towards the Poconos. We do have some snow showing up on the radar. Still not looking at too much, especially since the air is pretty dry. But don't be surprised though if you do see a flurry or a brief snow shower. But as you can see, this is pretty much weakened as we've gone throughout the past hour or so. And this will continue to do so, I'd say, within the next hour as well. High pressure is remaining in control for us. That's kept us pretty quiet overnight, but that's moving offshore, so that's why we have the cloud cover building in. And we are talking about this next frontal system, which starts to move in for tonight, and that will bring us our next round of a few rain and even a few snow showers. Temperatures this morning on the chilly side, you can see we're starting off into the 20s. We're back up into the mid to upper 30s by this afternoon, which is slightly above our average for this time of year, which comes in into the mid 30s. Here's future cast. You can see Things remain pretty quiet for us. Still wouldn't regard or disregard a flurry or even a sprinkle as we go throughout this afternoon, but for the most part, we continue to stay pretty dry. We'll just have more clouds and sunshine. And then, as we head throughout tonight, we're talking about that frontal system. So, with that, that's when we are going to look for our next round of a few rain or even a few snow showers. And still wouldn't be surprised if it, a few pockets of some freezing rain mix in. So, just look for a few slick spots for tomorrow morning. And then, this is quick to exit as we go throughout the rest of the morning. And we can thank that to a building area of high pressure building in. As we go throughout your New Year's Eve, so that will keep us quiet as we go throughout New Year's Eve into the overnight hours. But this will also set up the stage for some colder air to settle in, especially for Friday morning. I think Friday morning we continue to stay dry, but then we're talking about a warm front. This will bring a little bit more of an overrunning situation. So what that means is we are going to see precipitation falling as rain, but at the surface it still stays pretty cold. So this is where we could deal with that icy wintry mix, especially for Friday afternoon into the evening hours before we do warm back up and just seeing more of a changeover to plain rain. Today, with your eyewitness weather forecast, we'll have a flurry or snow shower early, otherwise, mostly cloudy temperatures today into the mid to upper 30s. And for tonight, looking for a mostly cloudy sky once again, and just looking for a few rain and snow showers to develop. Our lows are dropping into the lower to mid 30s. Here's a look at the seven day forecast for you, keeping an eye out for the system on Friday. Most of that starts to arrive for the afternoon and temperatures into the lower 40s. Looking for a leftover shower or two for Saturday, otherwise, mostly cloudy, a little bit warmer. Highs are into the upper 40s. Then watching an next system for Sunday. Still a little bit of uncertainty with the exact track, otherwise mostly cloudy with a rain or snow shower, and then we dry out from Monday into, into Tuesday. You can download the Eyewitness Weather app. Great to have with the interactive radar. You can get the latest forecast and the severe weather alerts right to your phone. You can find more by visiting our website at pahomepage.com. So